In 2003, the SARS virus ravaged China. Since then, China has accelerated the construction of a national disease control and prevention system. Chinese hope that the system will help them respond better, faster and smarter to another attack. The sudden outbreak of the COVID-19 put this system to the toughest test, as well as China's governance system. Faced with the COVID-19 outbreak, China quickly formed a special group called the National Expert Group on COVID-19. Professor Lan Xue is a member of the group. This uh, expert group is an advisory body for fighting with the virus. And we have about 60 plus people from various fields. So we discuss various uh, policy you know, ideas and then uh, you know, that will be provided to the national leadership to direct the country's fight with the virus. I'm uh, Lan Xue, I'm a professor and uh, dean of Schwarzman College at Tsinghua University. My research field is mainly on science, technology and innovation policy, on crisis management and global governance. For this particular outbreak, I think there is indeed uh, there were missed opportunities at early stage. So I think that's something that we really have to examine more and to collect more information to see where exactly things have broken down and how we can fix that. I think that national uh, system that we should make sure that anybody in tampering with that system is a violation of law. And, and I think the second issue that we may also want to think about how to fix the problem is we need to have a robust expert uh, um, system to make the judgment. Because I think early signs always are always incomplete. So maybe there's a lot of uncertainties, particularly with a new virus such as uh, COVID-19. In just two months, the COVID-19 outbreak spread from Wuhan to other provinces in China, becoming a major public health emergency with the fastest transmission speed, the widest infection scope, and the greatest difficulty in prevention and control since the establishment of the People's Republic of China. On the contrary, to deal with COVID-19, this is the proof not for the failure, but for the vitality and the validity of the system we have. My name is He Yafei. I am currently pursuing an academic life, being a distinguished professor at Yanjing Academy of Peking University. Certainly, we see some setbacks at the very beginning before we found the right path. But this is not a proof for the failure of China's governance of Chinese system. It is only a proof once again that China's political system, economic system, China's political setup is correct, is the right one, because it has the capacity to correct itself. If there is any shortcomings, any setbacks, it is very capable of correcting these things by itself because it has the wide support of the people and has a very strong, down to the grassroots, a very strong governance system in place. The very different responses to the outbreak among countries with different social systems have aroused concerns and even led to debates about the best and the worst. The bigger the problem, the bigger the challenge, the more effective, I think, relatively speaking, the Chinese government is. And therefore, also, that speaks well of the Chinese political system. My name is uh, Martin Jakes. 
Until recently I was a senior fellow at Cambridge University. I don't think anyone who knows anything about China should be in the least bit surprised that China can construct two hospitals within uh, 10 days or two weeks, incredibly short space of time. I mean, this is what the Chinese system is so good at doing, which is mobilizing uh, resources and thinking ahead, thinking strategically. China will learn from the weaknesses of what happened, as well as, uh, uh, as, well as the strengths uh, of its subsequent achievement. And yet, in the West now, especially for example in the United States, so slow, so slow. And the testing is so weak, so, so narrow. There's no excuse for this situation because this has been around now for, what, over two months. That's a lot of time the Chinese never had. So I think that what's happened uh, does not prove that the Chinese system is, you know, deeply flawed or something like that. Okay, it does reveal that the, that, that the mistakes were made. It does reveal that there were some weaknesses. But, you know, the bigger the crisis, the more likely mistakes are to be made. Why? Because you've got to make it up, because you don't have perfect knowledge. And less excusable, in my view, are the mistakes that are now being made uh, in the West, because they, they, they have had the prior experience of China to take into account.